Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a real short video about how to format your documents when you turn them into uh, class. It's pretty simple, um, nothing special going on, but I want to make sure you know exactly what I'm expecting and what a lot of your other teachers are going to expect as well. So I'm not going to do this in Word. I don't use Word. I'm not that familiar with it. I stopped using Word gosh, well over uh, 10 years ago, and it's just because it's too overly complicated. They took a really great product and basically flushed it down the, down the toilet. So the first thing you're going to do if you use Google Docs like I do is, of course, uh, hit the little insert button there, and you're going to, from the drop-down menu, select Google Docs. And uh, once you have your doc opened, now my computer takes a minute here because it's old, but once your uh, document is open, the first thing you really want to do is create the file name. That's really important because um, you want to make sure it's always saved. And most teachers actually are looking for a specific format and unbeknownst to you guys, right? So um, this is what I always did in, when I was an undergraduate after finding out this dirty secret that the teachers were always looking for. Um, so you want to first put in uh, your name information. So um, I'm going to start typing in just a second here. Um, yeah, this is a voiceover if you didn't know. So the first thing is you type in your last name first, then your first name. Okay. After that, then you're going to put in the assignment uh, name. So I'm putting in the name of this assignment, which I just called, you know, bad news video. Make sure and spell it correctly. Your teachers will know. And then uh, go back and then put in the date. So month, day, year. That's the format that teachers will be looking. See, I started with 13. That's the day. So you make sure and do month, day, year. And then once that's done, if you're using Google Docs, it'll auto-save everything you do from then on. See right there, it just saved. So then you, the first thing you're going to do after this is type in your name. Now, since this is my paper I'm typing here, I'm putting in my name. Um, and so first name, last name. And then after that, um, by the way, put that hard space in per on purpose. You'll see in a minute why. You're going to select um, uh, your name. You're going to put it in the correct font, which is Times New Roman, at 12 points. And then you're going to make sure it's all double spaced. Once you have that, then you go down here and you select your page numbers and you insert the page numbers in the top right hand corner. Put your last name in front of the number, then a space, then the number, and then you select everything and you make sure that is also in the correct font with the correct size. So Times New Roman 12. So once you have that, um, you put it in. Now, by the way, Google Docs and Word, they both screw this up. So this is a key step. See right here, I want you to pay attention to what happens. So in this line, I'm going to type in my uh, a teacher's name. This is the teacher I had most often. I had her for five classes. She was excellent. Um, probably the best composition teacher at my undergraduate. And she taught, you know, composition to English majors. So seniors uh, and juniors in English would would take her course. So if you notice, the font is different. Do you see that? So the font is different. We have to make sure that everything goes in. That's what happens when you have that little funny hard space. It fools you sometimes. So you make sure that you change the font to the correct font and size. Make sure it's always correct. Make sure everything is spelled properly. Make sure that you have the spacing correct. That way, later on, you, you know, you're not getting frustrated because you can't figure out what's happening. The next uh, line entry right here is the class. So um, in this case, I'm going to put in ENC 1102. And once I type it in, it's coming, I promise. Um, that's the problem with voiceover. You can't, you know, whatever. It kind of sucks. My, I have to work on my setup here at home to make sure that I have everything right for doing these videos. So here we go, ENC 1102. And then I put in a section number, uh, so, you know, period, and then 024. That's one of the section numbers from last semester. 
on this next line, you put in the assignment name. Now, last semester, we didn't uh, do this, um, but it was required in my undergraduate, and I know other teachers here at FAU require this. And so put in um, uh, the assignment name. So I'm putting in uh, Aurora reading response. Um, and then on the next line, you put in the date. So January, make sure there's a period after the abbreviated January, then the day, and then the year. And then hit hard return. And then right here, you're going to type in a temporary title. So right here, I just put in title colon temporary, and we'll change that. Uh, the real title that you put in, you always, you'll always change that after you've written everything. That should honestly be your first, your last thing. Make sure that the, the title is centered. And then after that, you insert whatever information you're going to do. So you would just start typing your paper here. So I'm going to insert something from the slideshow for today. And you notice right here, that's all the wrong information. You actually, when you're copying and pasting, make sure and do, you know, make sure it's always the correct information the correct, excuse me, when I say information, the correct um, formatting for your document. So I switched it and I put it in bullets. And then right here, the next thing I do is I in, I'm i supposed to be inserting, not page numbers again, but a page break. So you're going to insert page break. And there it is, see, page break. And then right here you type in works cited. and make sure this is centered and then right here you start with the author name so aurora comma namit do i have it wrong it looks like i have it wrong anyway so it should be aurora comma namit it's okay make sure you have yours correct and you put in the title and then after this um you're going to go, I'm not going to show you the rest of the MLA entry. You guys go in and make sure you look it up so that you have it correct. And that's it. Make sure uh, that you have all the correct information you need. Um, oh, by the way, the last step, put in the new title. So right here, I'm putting in, you know, where it says bad news. And then after that, you're going to put in something um, interesting you learn from the conclusion, which is Aaron makes bad videos. So you type that in and usually that comes from your conclusion. So, uh, the first part is basically the subject of your, of your paper. So, um, so bad news, colon, Aaron makes crap videos. That's the title. Keep your titles as short as possible. And that one's not too bad at six words. And then make sure you have your name, your teacher's name, your section name, uh, your assignment name, and then the date. And otherwise, everything is good. Make sure the page numbers are in there. Make sure your work cited is correct. Remember, on an English assignment, you always have a work cited page if you are quoting anything. And that's everything. Thanks so much for watching the video, and you guys have a very nice day.